Implementing carousels for your blog post list on your website can provide a more engaging and interactive user experience for your website visitors. It will allow them to quickly scroll through and preview multiple blog posts without having to navigate away from the main page that they're on. Plus, this also comes really in handy when your visitors are on a mobile device, since this enables them to horizontally browse through them. Let's take a look at how you can do this using Thrive Architect. Hi everyone, I'm Tony Lewis with Thrive Themes, and this is just your friendly reminder to both hit the like button and to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's quickly take a look at how the new carousel layout for blog post lists works. Awesome, so I have a homepage opened up with Thrive Architect and this particular template comes with Omni, the second companion theme for Thrive Theme Builder. Now, as we scroll down through the page, you're gonna see that we're gonna hit a section where I have a post list element embedded in the form of a grid. Now, it used to be the case that with Thrive Architect, we could display our post list in the form of a grid, in the form of a list, or in masonry style, but we've also introduced the carousel layout as well. Now, if I were to change the way in which my blog post is played to be of that of a carousel, you're gonna see how my two rows of content combine into one, and I now have a left-hand column arrow and a right-hand column arrow that allow me to navigate through my post list. Also notice how in the left-hand column of our screen, since we've enabled our post list to display in the form of a carousel, we now have a new tab right above layout and position called carousel options. In here, we get to customize the behavioral settings for our carousel a little bit more. For example, we can choose to show or hide the navigation arrows. You can also enable or disable the ability to drag to scroll, although most users will leave this option enabled as it makes the navigation experience on mobile devices much more user-friendly. You can enable dots if you'd like to show users how many posts there are in this carousel. You can also enable or disable the ability of infinite sliding. There are some other customization options, such as the ability to overlap end items. This allows users to preview that there is more content that they can browse through. And if you want your carousel to automatically navigate through your current post list, you can also enable the autoplay option. Oh, and by the way, this new carousel layout works for your Thrive Apprentice course list as well. If you like this new feature for your post list inside Thrive Architect, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if this is the first time you're hearing about Thrive Architect, I'm going to be leaving a link down below in the description box for you to find out more about it. It's been a real pleasure and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.